Now before you solder, make sure you have plenty of space, make sure you have uh, some kind of stand like this one here to mount your hot soldering iron so when you put the soldering iron down it won't burn anything um, and uh, just make sure that um, there's nothing which can burn nearby so now I've got all my uh, my circuit here and I've got my solder this one is 60% um, tin 40% lead and I prefer the thin solder wire uh, for these kind of small circuits um, and all you need to do is just uh, add a bit of solder to make a, a solid um, connection between the wire and the component so this is already hot and I'll do this one like this as you can see uh, the solder melts very quickly and the other thing I need to mention is do this in a well ventilated area do not breathe in the fumes. So a dab of solder there. That one's done. Be careful to not spend too much time soldering the wire to the LED. Otherwise it may end up damaging the component, the actual LED light inside and it won't work. So don't make it too hot. So quickly move on. Make sure I put that back. And of course when I finish I turn off the power. Now zooming in for a closer look, let's let's see what's happening. I put the wire on top of the solder and then move the two together on top of the connection. Do the same for the other one. That's it ready, move on. That one there, move on. That's good. And lastly, my resistor. And keep your fingers away from the end of the wire. As you do. Now if you need to remove the solder because you've somehow stuffed up, um, try not to like, say for instance here if I have a damaged LED then uh, you're pretty better off um, cutting the component um, and putting a new component on and after soldering retest the circuit to make sure it works so black to the end to negative and red to positive that's all good, that works.